This is King of Review. Here we have the graph of a function, f of x equals a to the x, and the first thing I notice is that this function is decreasing. If an exponential function is decreasing, that means the base a has to be in between 0 and 1. So we're not sure what it is exactly, but since the graph is decreasing, a has to be some number between 0 and 1. Now we need to figure out what the graph of this new function looks like y equals the log base one-fifth of f of x. Let's rewrite that as the log base one-fifth of a to the x, since we know f of x equals a to the x. Now there's a couple things we could do to make this a little bit easier to understand what it would look like. One thing is, we could look at this exponent inside the log, the x we have. There's a property of logs that says, if you have the log base b, of let's call this number c to some power d, we can take that d, the exponent, and bring it in front of the log so that it becomes d times the log base b of c. If we apply that property to our log here, we get that y equals x times the log base one-fifth of a. So we've already simplified things a little bit since x in our function does not have any exponents, this is going to be a linear function. The log base one-fifth of a is just going to be some number depending on what a is, so we're going to have y equals some number times x. That's a linear equation. So right away, graph b and graph d are out because they do not show linear functions. Now to decide between a and c, we need to decide if the slope of our line is positive or negative. The slope is log base one-fifth of a, but logs with bases that are less than one are hard to figure out. Fortunately, there's another property of logs that says if we have the log base some number one over b of x, let's just call it x, that's the same thing as negative log base b of x. We effectively take the reciprocal of the base by just turning the log negative. If we apply that here, I'm going to move my x to the end of the equation so that I can put the slope of the line first. I'd like to change this log into the log base 5 of a times x. And to be able to change 1 fifth into 5, I need to make the log a negative. So, now we know that the slope of the line is negative log base 5 of a. But let's remember that we know from the original graph that a is a number between 0 and 1. Which means, if we need to figure out what exponent to raise 5 to in order to give us a, we're going to get a negative number. The log base 5 of a is going to be less than 0. It'll be a negative number because you have to raise 5 to a negative exponent in order to get a number between 0 and 1, which is what a is. So, if the log base 5 of a is negative, and we are then making that negative, two negatives in a row make a positive, which means our slope of this line is going to be positive. The line in graph a has a negative slope, but the line in graph c has a positive slope. So graph c shows the graph of y equals log base 1 fifth of a to the x. And that's it. Thanks for watching.